we do encourage our students to do vet courses, we encourage them to do whatever it is that they need to have the, the future that they want. So if a university pathway is what they like, that's fantastic, but we also encourage our students if they want a vet pathway to go into those courses and, to, and take on that area of study. We have around 850 students. We have students with quite com complex needs, as well as those in mainstream, so we do have a large support unit in our school. They often say that students don't know what they don't know, and if they haven't seen a particular industry or a, a particular type of work, uh, then they, they have no idea what's out there and available. So by exposing our students to not only the people from those um, those different industries who can explain what it is that happens but taking our students on site so that they can see the array of jobs that are available. Well, the most innovative approach we've, we've done is um, to remove that previous disconnect between students, industry and parents and what we've done now is we've brought in, we have all of them to come together um, with a, a compulsory information night uh, where our industry discuss their expectations and what they're looking for uh, in their work placement program. Um, parents get the opportunity to ask questions as, as, as along with the uh, students. It's just brilliant. It just keeps the options open and I think that's what's really exciting about connecting industry to education is that we've been doing this for a long time. We've got incredible teachers at the school that are delivering at such a high quality but now they're able to share that, share mm. that um, the good quality teaching with industry and um, and it's great, industry love it. They love coming in here just as we enjoy going into industry just like the students do. We have an agricultural farm here at our school and in the junior school we offer electives such as agriculture, um, some interest electives, um, paddock to plate, um, so the students see the full process that happens there. Um, we also offer marine studies in year 11 and 12, agriculture, um, which is a board developed course, and also primary industries, which is a vet course. And it's a, it's a very rare opportunity to be given an SBAT in these, in these industries in particular. Yeah. So rather than us trying to push for something that is new for some of these industries, what we've done is made it a, um, a strategic approach to work placement and made that work placement like a work trial. Work placements have been fantastic um, in showing employers what our students have to offer and it's nice to see local kids getting local jobs and um, I think that people have realised that we do have some fantastic kids here in our school because they've seen them in the workplace uh, but the preparation for the students before they go to a workplace is absolutely vital. Um, the students need to understand what, what their commitment is as well as their parents need to know that commitment so by involving parents early on um, has made a big difference for the success of work placements um, but the students being familiar with the employers when they first go there and truly understanding the expectations um, so that they can make it um, a successful placement um, has been really important as well. I'm really happy um, I've finished my Cert 2 I've about to finish um, my SBAT I'm going to go through and finish year 12 finish my HSE and then go into a full-time uh, apprenticeship after school. So I've finished my Cert 2 in agriculture and I'll be going to Tokyo, an agricultural college, to do my Cert 3 for and diploma in agriculture as well and I'll be one day owning my own farm.